YouTube, it's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, here to welcome y'all back to another mall vlog, and uh, if y'all haven't noticed, I've been off from work since like the third, actually a little bit, but in June I was off for a long period of time, so I've been off from work for about three weeks now, I'm on vacation, but I'm getting paid for it, so it really don't matter, but um, yeah, about to go ahead into the mall and see what they got sitting on shelves, see what the little sales they got going on, but uh, before I get any further, I'd like y'all to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. If you ain't already subscribed, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And also follow me on all my social media platforms. And as you can see, your boy J, JC got the custom custom shirt on, Nola fitted. And on feet today, we got the, got them gold LMAX boys on feet, as you can see. Dope shoe in my opinion. Had to get the OG, had to get the OG Air Max on, but uh, yeah, come come inside, and take a ride with your boy. You did, Dope in my opinion. But the ladies got a fire colorway too, which just came in men's sizes. All right, there wasn't really much at the mall, but I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a review on these tinkers right here. As y'all can see, the black and red box, traditional Air Jordan three box. And as you can see on the top, you have Tinker Signature in this like a metallic red color. Pretty dope in my opinion. Cement box, elephant print, going all around. And let's get into that label. Get it up. As you can see, Air Jordan 3, Retro NRG, Style Code AQ38, 35, color code 160. And the retail is $200. And the colorway was white, black, fire red. All right, get the top off the box. In my opinion, this was a dope shoe in my opinion. If they would've just came with one color, I think that would've just set the whole thing off. But as you can see, you got the cement print paper and the shoe. Excuse my voice, I'm doing the voiceover. And as you can see right here, here's the Air Jordan 3 Tinker with the hang tag. As you can see, they got Tinker Signature on here. And that has this is a dope shoe in my opinion. Like, this is really a dope shoe. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not praying. If this was the only colorway to come out of this shoe, I wouldn't even be mad. But you got the JTHs and all the other colorways coming out. I think they're doing too much with it. So that's kind of like knocking the prestige of the shoe away. But um, let's get this shoe out. As y'all can see, the predominant upper is a white, black, white, and black upper. Get to the bottom. As y'all can see, it has the traditional Air Jordan 3 bottom. Has Nike on the bottom as well. You have that cement gray and fire red colorway with the pop-up stars on there. Nothing's changed on the bottom from any other traditional three. Real clean. The midsole, you have that white the lower with the white and the black on the top and as you can see all the way to the toe cap where the white stitching is and as you can see we got black elephant print which is real real nice in my opinion uh, I say this is really actually leather it's not really suede like the other elephant prints is but it's real defined and as you can see we got the black swoosh more of that elephant print toward the back and you have this white tumble leather and also this red Nike Air on the back which is give it a nice pop compared, in contrast compared to the rest of the shoe and on the leather is actually a real good grade of leather. Um, I don't know why it felt better than the black cement smile pin. And also you have a synthetic gray leather on there. On the tongue it's a traditional smooth leather which is also real soft to the touch. Red jump man, got white white flat laces, you got the perforated hole leather tongue going all the way down to the toe. On the medial side, you also have more of that tumble leather. Now tumble doesn't always necessarily mean good leather, but they actually gave you good leather and you have that Nike road on the side as well. And if y'all don't know, this whole shoe is just a basic concept shoe of what Tinker drew up before the production of the Air Jordan 3 came out. And you see they got a little bubble right there with that red stain right here on the bottom, as I was pointing out. But 
my personal opinion let's get into the inside of the shoe as y'all can see y'all have I'm going to cut the light on for this give me a second as y'all can see here we got the sketch of the Air Jordan 3 inside the shoe get the shoe horn out for the second Y'all can see y'all got the Sketch and Tinker signature also wrote inside the shoe. And that's on both shoes, the left and the right. Also, the production dates, as y'all can see here, it is 12, 19, 17 to 2, 9, 18. And show y'all the back of the shoe as well. As y'all can see on the tongue, you also have more Tinker signature wrote on there in black. Nice little touch to the shoe. But like I was saying, this is a dope shoe in my opinion. Real, real nice to be able to get it. It's a, it's a keeper. It's definitely a keeper if you just a co overall collector. But I feel like only one of these shoes should have been made. Like, don't go overboard with the colorways like you do with everything else like if this is a tinker edition leave you should have just been one and done and left it alone but my overall opinion i really like this shoe great quality excellent execution uh again just stop with the the uh uh like the mediocre colorways man like bio beige and I'm not a fan of none of that though. Like the white cement version y'all came out with, I'm not a fan of that. Like that's too much, it's too much at the end of the day. But again, as always, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. And I am Jason Baby and I am out. You dig.